Welcome to this session. My name is Diego Quispe. I'm an innovation architect at Dynatrace. In this session, you will learn how to call the Site Reliability Guardian from Azure DevOps. To integrate Azure DevOps with the new Site Reliability Guardian, we will be using the Dynatrace Automation CLI inside a Docker container. This tool allows us to trigger the Site Reliability Guardian from your CI CD pipeline. Before we get started, the prerequisites for this integration are the new Dynatrace OAuth credential with the following scope Storage Events Read, Storage Events Write, VC Events Read, VC Events Write, and Buckets Read. You can learn more about the process of generating a new OAuth client in the official Dynatrace account management documentation. A second prerequisite is to already have created a site reliability guardian inside Dynatrace. The final prerequisite is to have a Dynatrace workflow with the site reliability guardian task already added and configured to be triggered based on a VC event that will contain a tag.service and tag.stage values, as you see in the example. For this demo, I have already created a guardian called CPU usage and this Guardian already validates correctly the average CPU consumption for the system. I have also created the workflow with the event trigger tag.service equals demo and tag.stage equals dev. And I have also added the Guardian task, CPU usage, and I'm waiting for the expression time from and time to that is going to be provided by the Dynatrace Automation CLI from the pipeline. Calling the Site Reliability Guardian for Azure DevOps using YAML pipelines. For this example, the first thing that you need to do is get into the Dynatrace Automation CLI, which is in GitHub, and you can check the documentation, example pipelines, Azure DevOps, and in Azure DevOps, you will have YAML pipelines. In YAML pipelines, you can see the code examples to create a YAML pipeline with the Site Reliability Guardian integrated. You can have a complete file here that you can check the raw version and copy everything in here. You can paste the contents in a new pipeline with the YAML definition in Azure DevOps. This pipeline is using Ubuntu latest and it's referencing a container Dynatrace Automation CLI, the latest version. And the first task is setting up the start time and the end time for the evaluation. So if you want to run a load test, this is where you can put that. And then it's triggering the evaluation by using the container, DTA, SRG, evaluate, start time and end time of evaluation. And the stage that is going to be used as part of the workflow filter is that and the services demo. For the secrets, Dynatrace URL, client ID, the secret and the SSO URL, and the account URL, those are going to be stored as variables in here. So once you add the secrets, you're able to just run it. After the execution is done, you can check the results for the execution. You will see the information that has been sent into Dynatrace. And if you scroll down, you will get the result for your evaluation. In this case, we have one passing SLO, and you will get the evaluation link in here, which will take you to the Guardian in here. For the evaluation, everything is good. Our CPU threshold is good. And as I mentioned previously, this has been triggered by triggering this workflow in here. So everything is connected using the BC events and the workflows in Dynatrace. Call it the Site Reliability Guardian for Azure DevOps using the classic pipelines. For this example, you can navigate into Dynatrace Automation Tools, Documentation, Site Reliability Guardian, Example Pipelines, Azure DevOps, and in here, you will find a link for the classic pipelines. You have two ways to do this. You can use PowerShell or you can use Bash, and you have all the documentation and the implementation here. So I have already created the pipeline that I'm going to use using the classic approach in Azure DevOps. I'm running this using Windows 2019. And as a first task, I've added this to set the start time and the end time for the evaluation. 
So this is sending variables. This is sending the values of these variables in here. And the important configuration is to put a reference name eval time in this case. This will be used in the next step to pick up the values of these variables. A second step in PowerShell will be used to download the CLI. So this is picking up the CLI from this URL, saving the CLI, and then it's executing the CLI that you have downloaded. It's using the eval time dot end and dot start from the previous task to set the start time and the end time of the evaluation. Additionally, this is already consuming environment variables for all the secrets that you need to run this. So account URL, client secret, Dynatrace URL, and SSO URL, everything is stored here as variables and is referenced under the variables in here. So once everything is configured, you can just run the job and this will trigger a new quality gate evaluation using the site reliability guardian. You can also create a bash pipeline by using in this case an agent, which is configured here, Ubuntu latest, and a couple of bash tasks. This task is setting up the start time and the end time for the evaluation. And then it's configuring the name for this task, eval time. And we will consume this name on the next task. Trigger quality gate downloads the CLI into your agent that is running. And then it executes the CLI SRG evaluate, gets the start time based on the previous task and the end time based on the previous task as variables. And for running this, the required variables or secrets are provided using the environment variables here. So account URL, client ID, client secret, and SSO URL, all those are provided by the variables specified in here. So once you specify this, you can go ahead and run it, and it will trigger a site reliability guardian evaluation.